and Serbia have stalled. Kosovo's President Hashim Tachi had proclaimed that he would return from talks in Washington with historic news. But that plan has now changed following his indictment for war crimes allegedly committed during Kosovo's war for independence. Tachi has been silent in recent days and has not suggested when or if the talks would be rescheduled. A last-minute plan to send the Kosovo Prime Minister Prime instead, Minister, instead Minister. has also been abandoned. Serbia has not commented on the development. Well, for more, let's head to the Kosovo capital, Pristina, where our Euronews Albania correspondent, Ariana Popova, joins us. Morning to you. Look, these were poised to be really important talks, and it was all quite sudden that the indictment came out and the talks were cancelled. What impact has it had on the general population? Are they more worried about the indictment or about the attempt, the ongoing conversations to try and engineer some sort of peace? Good morning, Rosie. Uh, now in Pristina, everyone, or let's say most of the people are talking about the indictment and no one is talking about the dialogue between Pristina and Belgrade. After the indictment, uh, we were surprising opinion makers, journalists, uh, people in Kosovo, everyone was very, very surprising. We didn't expect, not because Hashim Tachi was the name, but because uh, the, the specialist prosecutor uh, made public his name. Uh, I know by myself and my colleagues, for several times we sent questions to special um, court in The Hague uh, to, give more inf to have more information if Tachi and others will be the subject of this court. And they always said the same phrase, let's say that this is, um, this can't be, this, this is not for public, everyone is under the court. And it was a little bit surprising publishing uh, their names. So uh, right here, these two days, everything, uh, every debate was concentrating on the uh, indictment for President Hashim Tachi and um, former uh, Assembly Speaker Karim Um It was dialogue also discussing in the way if Kosovo should continue or should stop the dialogue after clarifying what is going or what, what is going to happen with the president of, of uh, Kosovo right now. But we don't have, um, let's say, a clear picture in this moment what is uh, going to happen. Well, without that clear picture, we know that the president isn't going, the prime minister isn't going to have these talks. So where does this leave the wider issue of what the talks were supposed to achieve, some kind of sort of peace agreement? Uh, yeah, we know that uh, they are not going, but we don't know if they will go in the short future, let's say. Um, for two days, President Tachi, let's say, was disappeared, if I can say in this way. He, uh, the, the, um, his office said that he interrupted his trip uh, to U.S. and he'll, uh, he'll come back in Kosovo during the last day, but we waited for him during the day yesterday, a long day, till the uh, evening to, to have any, like, press statement or making him question, but he wasn't in Kosovo. I'm not sure if he's still in Kosovo or maybe he's in Albania, like some uh, are saying. Uh, we know that he cancelled his trip to U.S. We know that the uh, Prime Minister of Kosovo also cancelled his trip. Uh, Prime Minister said that dialogue must continue, but uh, it's not a clear picture, as I said, because we have, like, let's say, um, three uh, capitals that want to, to continue the dialogue with Kosovo. We have Washington, uh, Amsterdam, Richard Granell, special envoy for Kosovo and Serbia talk, said that they want to reschedule uh, the meeting. We're not sure if the meeting will be before the Paris summit, that it's going to uh, be in the middle of uh, July, I guess. President Tachi said that the Kosovo confirm, confirm, uh, confirmed its participation in the summit, but after the indictment, I think something change somehow or uh, another uh, question is if Kosovo will continue the dialogue in the Brussels just with the Prime Minister Abdullah Hoti and without uh, President Hashim Tachi. So till now President didn't make any declaration. Uh, Prime Minister said that he'll be back and then uh, Kosovo will decide. So I don't have a proper answer for you right now. Thank you very much, Ariana Popova, our Euronews Albania correspondent, speaking to us there in Pristina.